Alright guys, I love stuff. Thumbs up if you love stuff. This is not an in-depth tutorial, alright? This is just a quick primer on the difference between these three movements. I've had a lot of people ask lately, and to tell you the truth, a year ago I would have had the same questions myself. But with the strict press, and I have a video in my Q&A playlist probably about how I do the strict press specifically, but you're not getting any leg drive. Generally, your hips are locked, your legs are locked. It, your, your upper chest is what initiates the movement and then your shoulders take over. There is no loading your hips to get the bar off your chest, <clears throat> which is what the push press does. The push press, you hinge slightly at the hips and the knees, you load your hips, and you give just a little bit of jump to get it probably about to your chin or your nose. And my camera's at a pointed upward so the bar looks higher than it actually is. But the push press, you're basically getting the bar to your uh, chin or nose so that your shoulders initiate the movement and not your upper chest. The jerk is an elliptic movement that's a lot more complex than I really know about. All right, so look up Olympic jerk. But you're jumping the weight all the way up. Your shoulders uh, catch, your shoulders and arms catch, that's why it's called the catch position at the top, but the strength of your shoulders and arms do, do not, that does not push the bar up. The jump, the force of your jump, and you actually come off the ground a little bit, gets the bar all the way to the top. Your arms just follow the bar up there and then lock in place to catch at the top. 